story The Sisters in Dubliners, the narrator, a young boy who lives with his aunt and uncle, learns his friend, a retired priest called Father Flynn, is dying after having suffered a stroke. The boy stands outside the priest's house and muses on the priest's paralysis. The narrator comes downstairs for dinner shortly thereafter to find the neighbor, Mr. Cotter, sitting with his uncle. Mr. Cotter tells the narrator Father Flynn has died and speculates about the priest's odd quirks. That night, the narrator has foggy dreams about Father Flynn's gray face, trying to whisper a confession. The next morning, the narrator observes the death notice on Father Flynn's door. He thinks about how his aunt would have to bring him a box of snuff and all the things Father Flynn taught him. Latin, European history, and church ceremonies and traditions. In the evening, the narrator goes with his aunt to pay his respects to Father Flynn and his two sisters, Eliza and Nanny. Eliza alludes to the end of Father Flynn's career as a priest. He dropped a chalice during a service, which made him mopey and nervous. He would wander out alone at night. They found him in the chapel's confessional, wide awake and laughing like softly to himself. The child narrator is both afraid of and fascinated by the priest's paralyzed condition and the concept of death in general. Father Flynn's sisters are experiencing a paralysis of their own, enduring grief and retelling old stories about their brother, unsure what they will do now that he's gone, as his care has taken up much of their time. Eliza makes a point of saying the dropped chalice was empty, clarifying that the communion wine treated as the blood of Christ in the ritual was not desecrated by touching the ground. The incident from which Father Flynn cannot recover is having been found in the confessional laughing to himself. Eliza's last line, where she says they thought something was wrong with Father Flynn after this discovery, reveals a level of denial on her part. Father Flynn may not have accepted that he is no longer a practicing priest before he died. He continues to wear his vestments, formal dress robes for the clergy, after he is debilitated enough to remain at home by the fire and dependent on others for his care. Although it's possible the choice of dress is another expression of his sister's denial of his disgrace.